bar graph. Data can also be represented using a bar graph. In a bar graph, data is represented using rectangles or bars of equal width at equal distance between them. The height of each bar depends on its numerical data. The bar graph uses a scale, which is a relation between unit length and the number of objects it represents. The horizontal axis is known as x-axis and the vertical axis is known as the y-axis. The weight of five students is given in the following table. The following bar graph represents the given data. Circle graph or pie chart. Data can be represented by dividing a circle into sectors. Such representation of data is called a circle graph or pie chart. Pie charts are circular. The circle is divided into parts based on the data given. It shows the relation of parts to the whole. We can draw a pie chart to represent the number of children playing different games in a school. Data in the table can be represented using a circular graph. Here the whole circle represents the total number of children, that is 120. Cricket is equal to 60 out of 120 is equal to 60 by 120 is equal to 1 by 2 of the total. So half of the circle represents cricket. Football is equal to 40 out of 120 is equal to 40 by 120 is equal to 1 by 3 of the total. So, one third of the circle represents football. Hockey is equal to 20 out of 120 is equal to 20 divided by 120 is equal to 1 by 6 of the total. So, one-sixth of the circle represents hockey.